Hello my dear beautiful bastard and better, your glorious lord and welcome to Submerged. I was deciding between not having my face and having my face in this game and I decided to green screen it. Why not? Let's try out green screen, hopefully it works out great. This is a game that is coming out tomorrow. It is a game about a sister and a brother and you're the sister, you have to cure your brother. He is sick. You are in this city that is half underwater and then you gotta fetch things, you meet different monsters and stuff, you figure out the story of your family, of the city, of uh, the landmarks and stuff, it's... I think it is an okay game, I don't know, so we're gonna start a new game and hopefully, hopefully it's gonna be okay. And here we are in the game, you play as the sister, as you can see. The frame rate is very, very unstable, it goes from like 35 to 55, so it's not very optimized, I'm afraid. And in the game you have platforming, you have different tasks that you need to do, and it's generally okay, I think. I didn't play a lot, so we'll see. And this is how the story is presented, through these little icon things. So this is, these are houses on the water, this is a family, and this is the mother, father, sister and brother, and I guess you are the sister and brother, and I guess something happened, so you gotta figure out the story through those icons, both for your family and for the story of the city. Okay, here we are. So we need to find a crate of health. To stop luck who's bleeding. See, this is the story, our story, the city story, creatures and landmarks. We're gonna go find the crate. Okay, so you can control this little shit back and forth, up and down, <laughs> up and down, left and right. Oh, what the hell was that? I did not notice this before. I did play a little bit, so, you know, I know what I'm doing. Oh, that's some sort of an animal. Looks wonderful. Looks beautiful. But I'm not a big fan of the sea. So, I'm not... Wait a second. Is this where we're supposed to go? Wait a second. Let me, let me see. Maybe I need to get... Yeah, we are on the wrong side, so I'm going to go around the back. But yeah, like I said, I'm not a big fan of the sea, even though this looks beautiful because I'm a fan of post-apocalyptic stuff, but I'm not a fan of the sea, so <laughs> it kind of evens itself out, so I kind of like it. I like the design of everything. It looks reasonably beautiful. Lyonese Hotel. Lyoness. Is it Lyonese or Lyoness? I think it's Lyoness. I'm not sure. <laughs> so this is the platforming part. You can platform up these little things. 
come on, jump up. It's it's very basic and simple. You know, it's nothing, nothing too spectacular. I guess this is some sort of an interactive story because I don't think you do much in the game because it, it doesn't have any combat. That is like the main pitch of the game that it has no combat, but it is interesting apparently to the developers. So hopefully it is interesting. So far I haven't seen anything anything great. This is the interface of the story and this is the map. So see boat, boat upgrade secret, supplies gathered, supplies and home. There are 60 secrets in the game. So hopefully we will find a lot. We'll find as many as we can. Get over here and get up. So the first secret is over there. So let us get it. Be careful, little girl. This is the first secret. A swirly thing. So this is the city's story, so I guess you have to collect all of these to figure out the story of the city. You know, so I'm not really sure how are you supposed to figure out the story of the city based on these little icons, but <laughs> maybe you can, I don't know. We will see as soon as we find more of those icons. I'll keep these in my journal. Yes, you will. So another secret is down here. So let us go down here, so you can also see slide down these little pipes. So, you know, very standard stuff. Okay, another secret is over here. This secret is the sun. I believe this is the sun. So maybe the first one was like a... Maybe there was a hurricane in the city that messed it up. Or something like that. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe we'll find out later. So, let's get back up. Come on, jump, little girl. Jump. Move, come on. Okay, we are up. Now we gotta go further up. I actually plan to stream this game, like the entire game on Twitch. But... It's just, it's too hot, you know, I'm very sorry, it's very, it's way too hot to stream, so maybe, maybe in the future sometime. And here, are, here we are, the first crate. Okay, so the story continues, father goes fishing, he catches fish, and the family eats fish. Come on, next, we gotta collect more crates. And the first thing that you need to do, or should I say that you should do, is get on higher ground. Because now you will have, uh, actually not yet, I guess I need to wait until I get, eh, uh, there it is. So you get this thing, the binocular. It's not actually a binocular, I don't think... I don't know what's it called. Oh, there is something over here. I wonder why. And yeah, uh, whenever you scan around the area with the binoculars, or whatever this is, uh, you get these notifications, and things get marked on the map for you. So you can... Ah, telescope. Yeah, telescope. Things get marked, and then you can go collect them. Telescope. <laughs> How did I not think of that? So, the first thing is over here, so let's get here and see if we can collect it. Let us see. Boost! Aha! It's a boat upgrade. Nice! I like it. This will boost my boat for longer. Very nice. So, the first thing that we are going to do is find the upper ground over here. We're gonna go to the crane. The crane is beautiful. I think it is over here somewhere. I know that I visited it, but I'm not really sure where it is. Let's let's search the area for the crate. Where are you? Oh, whoops. Whoops, a daisy. Where are you, Mr. Crate? Oh, what is this? Oh, I found another secret accidentally. <laughs> nice. Oh, wait, this is a landmark. Oh, no, creatures. 
or creatures. So there are not a lot of monsters, there are just creatures that you happen to stumble upon. Where is the crate? I, I mean crane, not crate. <laughs> Where is the crate? Crane should be around here somewhere. Where are you? Oh, look at the monsters. Ah, there it is. See it? See it up there? Now, it doesn't look as high as it actually is, you know, because it's much higher than, than uh, this image portrays. So we're gonna get there and you will see how insanely high it actually is. Okay, so we can port over here. Port and then climb up. Now you will see some majestic beautifulness while climbing because the game sometimes gives you these these special camera shots angles, you know, that show you that show you the, the scenery. It's quite nice. I like it. I like those camera shots. See? Shots like these. They they are very artistic. You're not even halfway there. And you, as you can see, it's already very high. Another artistic shot. Isn't it wonderful? It looks very pretty. But, uh, prettiness is not the only thing that the game needs to be great. Though, so, we'll see later. So far, it is pretty, but in terms of gameplay, it's pretty much standard, nothing special. The bird's eye. Here, this is a landmark. Okay, let's get up. And another clue is over here. And I don't know if you can feel it, but you can actually kind of feel the height. You know, you can feel the wind slightly moving the entire crane. This is another part of the story of the city. See, so we are missing the four in between, so we don't actually know what's happening here. I mean, as far as I can see, that's like a family with a dog, I think. <laughs> family with a dog? I'm not sure. So, what we're going to do is get on the other side, and then scan the area with the telescope, and that will give us access to a few other uh, areas. So, access to information. Okay, let's pull it out and scan stuff. As you can see, we can scan a lot of different things. Location added to map. Okay, let's check on this side. Another crate or something. There's another crate up here. There should be more stuff over here. Okay, found a crate, and down here there's something as well. There's something else, we can't really see because of these branches, so maybe we can move over here. There doesn't seem to be anything else in the near vicinity. Maybe check on this side as well. Oh, there is something. Location added to map, thank you very much. And I think that is all. So now what we can do is go back down, and as you can see you can slide, so you can get down very, very fast. And once we are down I'm going to pause it here, so thank you very much for watching, I hope you are enjoying Submerged, it's a pretty game, not a lot of things happen. It's mostly an exploration game with nothing special. Hopefully the story is interesting. We shall see. So let me know, do you like it? Feel free to leave a like. If you like it, let me know what you think about my green screen. First time I'm doing it, hopefully it will turn out good. And uh, I guess I shall see you next time.